sashimi. Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today's video, we're doing another taste test. Yes, so today we are doing a vegan salmon sashimi taste test. So a few months ago, I actually bought this vegan salmon thing from this local vegetarian store. And I kind of just like had it in my freezer, didn't really touch it. I don't know why I didn't touch it. I was just like, oh, I have so much other things to eat. So I didn't touch it. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make this into a video and I'm gonna taste test it on video because you guys love taste tests. So I'm also gonna be doing a vegan shrimp taste test and a vegan crab meat taste test. Some of those videos might be out already. So it'll be linked below if they are and if not don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it and um yeah i'm a little afraid of these ones okay i'm just gonna like show you what the salmon looks like now so here's the vegan salmon it is vegan salmon sashimi i do apologize because i don't actually know where you can get this <laughs> I know there's different brands that do something similar or maybe they're all the same, I'm not sure. But uh, either way, it looks super realistic and feels kind of slimy. So with this vegan salmon, I made three different things. I made a simple salmon nigiri, which is basically sushi rice with the salmon sashimi on top. I also made a poke bowl situation here with some rice and avocado. And I also have some salmon avocado rolls. So, I mean, it looks pretty legit, right guys? Like, it looks like salmon sashimi, but I've had some like salmon sashimi before when I was in Toronto. And like, to be fair, it didn't really taste like that much. So, I don't know. My first initial thoughts when I was cutting this up, very slimy and kind of gross. <laughs> like, I don't know, something about it is gross. I don't know, anyway. So let me show you what I made, okay? So firstly, I have the salmon sashimi, like nigiri. What is this called? Vegan salmon nigiri. Basically, I just placed the pieces on top, like thin slices of the sashimi. I mean, it looks, ah, uh, maybe you could fool somebody, okay? So I made that. To make the vegan salmon nigiri, all I did was cut up the salmon piece into pieces like this, so it's like thin and rectangular. And of course, I cooked up some sushi rice, and into the cooked sushi rice, you can add some rice vinegar and some salt and sugar, just mix that well. And then I made them into these little balls, and I added the vegan salmon sashimi on top. Now, if I had wasabi, I would add that as well, but I didn't have wasabi. But there you go, that's how you make the vegan salmon nigiri. So I guess I should try the sashimi first, or the nigiri. So with the rice, should I try it? Oh Lord, okay, I'm gonna dip it in some soy sauce, okay? Oh my God, here we go. I'm gonna try it on its own with a little bit of soy sauce. Sashimi. Like you're not gonna convince me this is actually raw salmon, but it does have a little bit of that that flavor. A little bit, it's kind of mild. It is definitely mild. The flavor is kind of there. I think it tastes good with the soy sauce. Let me try it on its own. Hmm. Texture is a little bit gummier than normal, of course. I mean, I don't expect the texture to be perfect, but it's pretty good. And I think the more I chew, the more convincing it becomes. So at first you're kind of like, okay, this doesn't really taste like anything. But then the more you chew, the more you're like, ah, kind of, okay. So I'm confused. That is, that is more so the situation. And then I also made some poke. This looks pretty good, you know? I made some poke, cut the cut the salmon up into like little little cubes, put some seasoning, we put some like soy sauce, sesame oil, and just some sesame seeds, some onion. I have a little side of avocado. All right, let's make our poke. So first I cut up the salmon into small pieces like this, like little cubes, and then I added them into a little bowl. And honestly, I just Googled salmon poke recipe and I just followed the seasoning. So all I did was add some soy sauce, some rice vinegar, some gochukaru, which is Korean red chili pepper flakes, and some toasted sesame oil. And then I just mixed it well. Then I simply added some sliced onions and just put it on top of some sushi rice along with some sesame seeds and some green onion. And I also added a little bit of avocado as well. 
Now I wanna try the marinated version, okay? Some marination going on, uh-huh. So I feel like this might be legit. Let's just try it. Now I'm less afraid. It's not as, you know, scary as I thought it would be. Let's try the poke, okay? Mm. Ah, I bit something. Oh. I almost feel like it tastes more salmon-y like this. Maybe I'm missing something. Hmm. I would put some kelp powder. <laughs> my, my solution to everything is adding in some kelp powder. If I added in some kelp powder into the marinade, it could be relatively convincing. I feel like almost eating it like this on its own with a little bit of soy sauce has a little bit more of that salmon-y flavor. This one, maybe because I marinated it in like soy sauce and stuff, the other flavors are taking over and I can't really get any of that salmon-y flavor. Interesting. Now here's a problem with this. <laughs> Let me complain, okay? Problem with these is I believe like it's just basically, it's not really anything in terms of like, it's not really high in protein. So it's not really gonna fill you up. It's literally just there for the taste. So if you really miss salmon sashimi, that's what it's there for. But I don't believe it's very high in protein. I don't believe that there's really much nutritional value in these. So that's something to keep in mind, okay? And then we have some salmon and avocado roll. Similar thing, just the salmon sashimi with the avocado in a roll. All right, let's make some salmon avocado rolls. So first we're gonna cut up the salmon into long thin pieces like this. Then we can take a nori sheet and then we can lay out our sushi rice. Once again, this is sushi rice or short grain white rice mixed with rice vinegar and salt and sugar. We're gonna lay it out using damp hands, but of course leave a little space at the top so we can seal the roll. And then we can add our vegan salmon sashimi. I still can't get over how realistic this looks. It's really creepy. Anyways, we're also gonna add, of course, our avocado. And then we're just gonna roll starting from the bottom and then just completely cover it. And then at the very end there, you can damp in the seaweed with some water and then just seal the roll and then we can just cut it up with a damp knife and I mean look how realistic that looks like that looks legit you guys I mean that looks like a real salmon avocado roll but will it taste like a salmon avocado roll You guys, now, I'm pretty excited for this. I'm pretty nervous for this. So salmon avocado rolls, my friends. Well, you know what, it makes me happy because I feel like if this is the beginning, how much more can we do with vegan food, right? And imitations. Because this is like relatively decent. It's not the worst, it's not the best, but it's good. Anyway, salmon avocado roll, time to try. Mmm, I think. This is probably the most convincing with this concoction. The seaweed, I think, almost brings out a little bit more of the, the seafood flavor of the salmon. And with this combination, you could potentially fool somebody, potentially. And you, you get less of that gummy texture because it's in the roll and it's in like a smaller piece. And because it's like all together, you get less of that gumminess and with the other textures. Hmm. My friends, this one is legit. Yeah, I can taste it's it's more salmony to me to put it into a roll like this. This is not bad either. I don't I thought I would like this most, the poke, but I actually think I like these two better than the poke for the reasons I described before. But like, okay, what's my verdict? Oh god, I'm so bad at um rating foods. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think on its own, let me let me let me let me chew. The texture, not like perfectly salmony, but close. Okay. A little bit on the gummy side. Tiny bit of that fishy flavor. I do wish they added in a little bit more of the fishy flavor, but I think with the roll, it's actually quite convincing and potentially you could convince somebody. I don't know exactly, okay? But it's worth trying for the novelty. It's not something I would eat regularly at all. Obviously it's been sitting in my freezer for so long, but it's definitely worth trying, especially if you're someone that misses fish and you miss like raw fish. I used to like love sushi, raw fish. That was like my thing. I was like, I can never be vegan because I love sushi and I love raw fish. That's the one thing I thought I could never give up. So here we are today, me just living fine without it. Uh, but if you are one of those people that are like, oh my God, I don't know if I can give it up. Try this one, okay? Anyway, that's pretty much it, you guys. That was the taste test. I was pleasantly surprised. I was actually very afraid to try this. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It just, it just felt weird. 7.5 in this roll, okay? Maybe an eight, 7.5.
Okay, that's pretty much it you guys. What did you think of this video? Let me know down below. If you've tried this, let me know your thoughts. And if there's anything you want me to taste test next, let me know. I'm gonna have my vegan shrimp taste test as well. I think that's gonna be up before this video. So watch out for that. That's gonna be linked below. And I'm also gonna do a imitation crab meat taste test thing as well, okay? So all vegan products that I wanted to try that I haven't tried yet, we're doing a taste test for, okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching you guys. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.